Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I'm back again with another really interesting coding interview question video today. Today guys, we are going to solve question number 2073, time needed to buy tickets. Before I start with the video guys, just want to request you that if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, then please do subscribe, hit the bell icon for future notifications of more such programming and coding related videos. Let's get started now. So basically guys, the problem statement says that there are N people in a line queuing to buy tickets where the 0th person is at the front of the line and the N minus 1th person is at the back of the line. So basically this line is sort of an array where the index starts from 0 and ends at N minus 1 and all these N people are given a value. Okay, so uh, here basically Two means that the person standing at the zeroth index needs two tickets and here three means that the person standing at this position needs three tickets and the person in the last position wants two tickets. Now we are given an integer value k where we want to find out the time taken for the person at the position k that means at the position index 2 which means at the last index to finish buying tickets. Okay. Now we have to understand that because it is a queue, every single person takes one second to buy one ticket. So in this case, the person who is standing at the top wants two tickets. So he is going to take two seconds to buy those two, tic uh, those two tickets. And uh, each and every person goes to the line, buy one ticket and then goes back into the line at the back position. And then the next person goes, buys their ticket and go back into the line. And uh, in this case, what happens is that in the first pass, when everybody has had their one turn and they all have purchased one ticket, then the array is going to look like this. Now the first person only wants one ticket, the second one wants two tickets, the last one wants one ticket. In the second pass, again everyone goes into the line and continue buying one one ticket at a time. And then the array looks like this in which now the person who is at the kth position which is the last position does not need any ticket and his total number of uh, tickets which he wanted he has got them okay. So if we see the number of seconds it took for the kth position element to become 0 is actually 6 seconds and how is that because in the first pass each and every, that there are three people who all bought one ticket. So first pass took three seconds. And then in the second pass, again, each and every one went inside and took tickets. So this also took three seconds. So three plus three becomes equals to six seconds. Okay. So this is how the problem statement goes, guys. And we want to basically find out the total time taken by the person at the kth position to finish buying their total number of tickets required. In another example here guys you can see that the k value is 0 and the first person actually wants 5 tickets so we basically want to find out the time taken by the first person to buy total tickets and in the explanation it's pretty clear that in the first pass uh, all the other people buy their tickets so 0 0 0 but the first person only buys one ticket so he remains at 4 and then in the next 4 passes only this first person continues to buy the tickets so in that case our answer becomes equals to 4 seconds uh, which is taken in the first pass so 1, 2, 3 and 4 and then in the next 4 passes there are no other people it is only the first person who is buying the tickets so it will be like 4 plus the next one person buys then again he buys then again he buys and then again he buys so it becomes equals to 8 seconds so we can say that once a person has finished buying their ticket, so for example at this position, the person at index 1 does not need any ticket, he will not need any time also to, uh, you know, to buy the zero tickets, okay. So his uh, time taken is completed, his time taken was 1 second which is done and now in the second pass and third pass and fourth pass, only time taken by the first person will be taken into consideration. So all the people who have had their value 0, they will not be counted in the subsequent passes. Okay. So uh, the constraints are also pretty straightforward guys that the length of the tickets is n ranges from 1 to 100. The value of the ticket ranges from 1 to 100. The value of k goes from 0 to n. 
okay so i hope the problem statement is clear to you guys and let's jump to the solution part so let's try to understand the solution here before we start to implement it so let's take into consideration the first example which was that the ticket's value was 0 to 2 3 2 and the k value was equals to 2 so in this case guys if we start iterating this array we know that if my ith value is lesser than the kth value or equal to my kth value so my kth value is equals to 2 so until and unless my ith value that means my index value is lesser than the kth value it means that these first two guys we have to make sure that they buy all their tickets or the tickets which is lesser than the tickets for the kth element so in that case i would say that uh, all the elements before k definitely will go into the uh, in the first pass and the second pass okay so for example in this case uh, we are having two passes so uh, the elements at zeroth position and one at one position they both go into the first and the second pass and they will continue to go into these passes until the kth value has become zero okay so until the kth person has gotten all his tickets the k minus one th person and the k minus uh, second person they will continue to buy their tickets so if i say that the total uh, tickets bought by all these people before uh, k i can say that the total tickets bought by them will be either so uh, tickets for all the k minus 1 th actually for all the uh, 0 to k people will be actually equal to uh, either the total tickets by the kth person or the tickets by the by that ith person so if i say that is ith element then either that uh, person will buy the total number of tickets uh, which he actually wants or he will buy the total number of tickets which is wanted by the kth element depending upon which is the minimum number so for example let's say my kth element was uh, not 2 but 1 okay if my kth element was 1 then in that case i need to or uh, 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 let's say if this 3 value was here uh, let's say my k value is 2 and uh, let's say this is 1 and my k value is 2 okay let's say this is the scenario in which i want to make sure that the person at the last position completely buys his ticket so in that case we don't even have to go through two passes in first pass only my kth value will become equals to zero so after the first pass this will be equals to one comma one comma zero right so in that case if i see all the people which were before k were only able to buy either the tickets which is required by the kth number or if the tickets were lesser than the kth uh, elements uh, ticket so if this value was 1 then i can say uh, add 1 second to our uh, example or the total time taken by the ith element or the total tickets bought by the ith element will be equals to 1 but because it was 2 still the total tickets bought by the 0th element will be 1 because it is lesser or equals to the kth elements value so whichever is minimum so for all the people before k if their own tickets is lesser than the kth ticket then we will take that value if the kth elements tickets are lesser than their tickets then the kth tickets will be taken into consideration because they will not go into the further passes so for example once my kth value becomes zero all the elements which are lesser than k they will not go into further passes okay now next if we can say that all the elements so this comes to all the elements which are lesser than k or equals to k all the elements which are k plus 1 till n what will happen to them so we know let's say if my kth value was 2 and let's say i have got one other element here 5 okay 
so we can say that if kth value is 2 so we will only go until here where my kth value becomes 0 right so it means that i am only i am able to achieve this uh, kth equals to 0 in my first pass only when my first pass gets completed then how many tickets are bought by those people who are after k so for example in this case i've got 5 so how many tickets are bought by this uh, k equals to, uh, by this uh, by this person he is only able to buy one ticket okay he is only able to buy one ticket uh, in fact not even one ticket because in the first pass when uh, this person will become one we, then the second person will go into the line and buy a ticket and his value will become one then kth guy will go into the line and buy his ticket and then his balance will become zero after that we don't need to go further right we don't need to go further to the fourth person here because my kth element has already become zero so in that case i can say that all the people who are after k will only go until k minus 1th tickets are bought so let's say if my k value here was 3 okay let's say if this was uh, if this was 3 and i have to make uh, 3 value as 0 then this will go until uh, 3 passes right so first pass 1 1 2 and then 5 will become 4 in the second pass we will have the value 0 and so second version also will become 0 kth value will become 1 and the k plus 1th value will become equals to 3 and in the in the third pass so this becomes second this becomes third actually my kth value will become 0 but as soon as my kth value becomes 0 we will not go to the next element we will not go to the next element we will not make him buy another ticket because we just want our kth element to complete their ticket so in this case all the elements which are after k will only able to will only be able to buy k minus 1th tickets okay so they will not go after beyond that so for example in this case the k value was 3 so all the, uh, the this k plus 1th element was only able to buy two tickets so 3 minus 1 2 so for all the k plus 1th element either they will have the their own total number of tickets if it is lesser than the uh, tickets of k minus 1 so if tickets of k are greater than the ith values tickets then we will subtract one for and, and add it otherwise we will only take the ith value okay so i hope this solution is clear to you guys and let's jump to the coding part of it which is very very easy and straightforward so first of all i am going to initialize my result to zero then i'm just going to go from integer zero to so integer less than the array length which is ticket dot length plus and next i'm just going to check again if i is lesser than equals to k so if i is less than equals to k then my result is will include uh, either the tickets k value or the tickets i value based upon which is the minimum so math dot minimum of either the tickets k value or tickets i value okay if else so if i is greater than k in that case i am just going to make sure that if the ith value is lesser than k then that is taken otherwise we will only go until the tickets k minus one tickets are sold okay finally in the end i'm gonna return, return the result let's run this code guys let's see if this works uh okay there is an issue here my bad okay now it should work and it will accept it for one solution and hopefully it will get accepted for this as well and there you go it does talking about the complexity so pretty straightforward guys the time complexity is order of n and the space complexity here is order of 1 because we are not using any extra space here and we are only using one single loop to complete this solution. So, 
So that was the solution, guys. I hope you guys like the solution, and I hope that your coding practice became a little bit better with this. If it did help you guys, then please do not forget to like this video and share this video with your friends. Do subscribe to my channel, guys, for more such programming and coding related videos. Write down in the comment section below anything you want to say to me. All feedback, all comments are definitely welcome. And if you have any a uh, better solution than this, then please do. Post that also in your comment section so others can be helped as well. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then take care and bye bye.